This is a Heathkit DX20, uh, back from the circa of the 1950s. Uh, it's not a beautiful one. It uh, does look like it's had its share of wear and tear. And there was a cut made in the back of the lower cabinet uh, to allow a VFO and crystal switch to be put in. <coughs> the only other modifications I see is a nice little pilot light, and I like that. And it looks like the key uh, has been changed so that when you pull it out, it is not normally closed like it would normally be. But when you put a regular key in, it does work. And that's a good example of it. Right now, I, had it, I have it set up on uh, 40 meters, and we'll see how it works on 40 meters. Uh, grid current is a little about uh, about three mils there, about three mils. Uh, I'm going to put it in the operate position. So let's throw that over to plate, and there we are. Oh, it'd be nice if I put the operate switch in. That would work a little bit better. That applies the B plus to the final amplifier. And I had previously tuned it up. So uh, there we are. It's hooked up to a dummy load. Uh, now we'll try it on 20 meters using a crystal. We are using a crystal. And by the way, it does have the crystal cover, which is very, very rare uh, that they have uh, the crystal cover. So I'm going to turn that off, put this in the grid, back in the grid position, and see, it looks like we have uh, plenty of grid current there. I'm going to see, well, I don't want to peek it up. It's got plenty already. Uh, put this in the operate position. I'm going to turn that down. And we don't have much output, but we haven't dipped the final yet. Oh, I should put this in the plate position. That would be nice too, wouldn't it? There we are, and bring this up, and bring that down, and bring this up, and bring that down, and bring this up, and that's about, that's about where we should be, on 20 meters. Don't know if we'll have enough uh, drive on 15 meters to uh, get it out, uh, but we'll see. <coughs> Put it up on 15 meters, and let me turn that off. And we could use a little more grid current this time. And we got just about enough, about three mils. And now let's see if we can put it in the operate position. Put this in plate. And we need to find, we need to dip the final. Okay, there we are. Bring this up. Bring this up. There we go. And power is coming up. And that's about where I want to leave it. Okay. Uh, barely, these don't really do very well on 10 meters, but let's give it a shot. Okay. Uh, put it over here on 10 meters. It says 11 meters too, but. Uh, I wouldn't use it on that. You might be looking for a place to plug in the microphone. Good luck with that. If you know anything about the DX20, you would really need good luck with that. Uh, so let's put it up on... Uh, let's see. Look, we need grid current. Uh, grid current. Wow, we got a lot. Why so much here and not so much... Let's bring it down to that. that there. Put this over to the plate position. Bring that down to zero. Put this up to operate. and dip the final. I don't think we got a whole lot out there. But it might be because we, we're using a light bulb for a dummy load so it doesn't match up that well. So, we do have 100 mils, but I don't see the light bulb lighting up too much. But we do have the, the approximate plate current. And uh, now I'm gonna change the crystals and put in a 80 meter crystal. So take the cover off. <coughs> There's the cover. Pull out the old crystal. And 
put in the new crystal and let's see how we work let's get this over to 80 put this over in the grid position you're not getting a crystal by the way someone when I posted said what crystals are included when I posted a DX60 uh, he probably wanted to buy it for five dollars too okay let me put this in the take that off the operate position <coughs> And okay, there we are. Uh, we need to lower the you know, I wonder if I if I put it back on ten meters and increase the grid current, what that would have made a difference, but what the devil? I shouldn't just well, I wanted to say another word, but okay, here we go. Let's put it up on. Let's put this over in the plate position. This is down to zero. Let's put this into operate. Boy, it's pretty much tuned up already. Okay. Okay. And just a... Oh, wrong thing. There. Push this up. Okay. I don't want to do more than 100 mils. That's about right. So, there we are. Uh, that's uh, 80, 80 meters. We've done everything. We've done all the bands that do the proper plate current on all the bands. And uh, you can decide if uh, this is something that you want. And a Heathkit 20 meter, a uh, 20 Heathkit 20 uh, CW transmitter. Uh, pro looks like it's lighting up the light bulb uh, pretty much all the way, so, which is about 50. The light bulb is 60 watts. So I'm guessing it's about giving, putting out about 40, 40 watts or so. So that's a DX20.